this was this grant project that I'm going to talk about briefly is a project that uh, the LDA, the Louisiana District Attorneys Association, which is an amazing group of people. Um, and we got connected with them through Hiller Moore, who's the elected DA in Baton Rouge. Um, so it's it's a project that we have. It's a BJA grant. Um, they're, they have a, a project or they have a, a grant system called Innovative Prosecution Solutions. They've kind of added the term smart prosecution. And so what we did um, with this project, you know, we had, um, and I'll kind of tie it back into what I talked about at the beginning, the collaboration aspect and the ability to collaborate. And this is just really expanded, um, you know, doing these projects has really expanded that ability to, you know, meet people, work with people, learn things like that. So we uh, we're having some conversations and we were kind of moaning the lack of really ex a, a good prosecutor training opportunities. And again, this is maybe, you know, four years ago, three or four years ago. And we were talking about this and there are some trainings out there. There's more now than there was even three or four years ago. But not just to have a prosecutor training program where we learn about digital evidence, but have a real experiential because part of the, the components of a, a really effective training program, I think are not just the information imparting, but also the a, opportunity to apply that what you're learning to data sets and also integrate it in, in your own cases and kind of being able to show how to do that. So we decided to come up with a project um, that was an in, uh, experiential training program. We pitched the idea to LDAA at the time. Um, none of our agencies of the prosecutors on there were in a position to be able to be the grantee. And like I said, we, we made that connection with um, Hiller Moore with the LDA and so very glad we did. Um, they graciously agreed to work with us. We had a, a group of lots of different people from different disciplines, and we put together uh, the grant application. We were awarded the grant in 2021, and it was for the development of this comprehensive training program to address the ability of prosecutors to use digital evidence in their cases. So the, the project itself has three main components. Initially, um, there's a needs assessment, then the pilot training, and then the final training. And I'll talk about those briefly. So the, the focus of the needs assessment was to determine what prosecutors in Louisiana needed with regard to digital evidence resources and training. So we conducted, we put together a survey. Um, we developed that survey and sent it out to prosecutors from around the state. And it covered topics such as, you know, what is your experience with dis different types of digital evidence? What kind of challenges did you face? What resources do you have? Even, you know, what is your comfort level working with this, these different types of digital evidence? We broke it down um, into lots of different categories. And we did have a pretty good response. I think um, we had almost 400 responses um, and it led to several themes, but the, the big one was, prosecutors in Louisiana needed more resources and training in digital evidence. Now, I would imagine if we replicated that survey in every state, we'd get that same response. Um, so the second aspect of that was the pilot training program. So the pilot training program is going to be unique from the final training program. The pilot training program had two components. One is to provide resources and interactive training to certain prosecutors who had kind of volunteered to become resource prosecutors or regional prosecutors that would be provided with extra equipment and software that would allow them to help other prosecutors in their region deal with digital evidence. So we provided them with forensic laptops, with a software that's um, particularly useful for law enforcement and has an, a, a good application for prosecutors as well to be able to understand the digital evidence that they have in their case and manage it within that software program, along with a number of other different types of um, equipment. We conducted the training program in February to the smaller group of prosecutors. Um, the purpose of this is to kind of have a, a once through, um, do it on a smaller scale that allows for more interaction and more feedback. And then 
to be able to incorporate that participant feedback, the lessons learned by the LDA staff in putting on this training, and any changes we deem necessary as the trainers both based on things that um, we experienced during the training, as well as any new digital evidence developments that we, um, or information that we wanted to incorporate following that training. So the pilot training went great. It was a really good time. We learned a lot. Um, we got to make some good connections. Again, collaboration, networking. So the last, um, the last main component of the program is the final training. And so that will be held in July. It will be presented to approximately 40, um, up to 50 prosecutors from around the state of Louisiana. We're hoping to have at least 40 parishes um, represented at the final training so we can spread that knowledge throughout the state. And it will incorporate the curriculum along with any changes um, they will not be provided with that equipment. The regional prosecutor aspect of that is, is not part of the final training program. So one of the important parts of the project and kind of the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is the ongoing technical and, and legal assistance and the replication of the project. So following the final training, we'll continue to provide assistance to the, the pilot trainings, the regional prosecutors, as well as the, the other participants. Um, curriculum will be made available to those who want to present training of their own. Even at the after the pilot training, we had several prosecutors who reached out for the, the PowerPoint, the curriculum that we used so that they could do their train the trainer type um, training back at their DA's offices. But importantly, we wanted to make this a project that we can have replicated in other states. There may be things in Louisiana that are different from New York, or California, or Minnesota, any number of states. And so um, the plan is to provide kind of a roadmap that will detail the project, what, you know, what we learned, what works, and kind of how to replicate this project in other states. And I know Chris um, Hammond and PCE is a big part of that. Um, she is in her organization as part of this grant as well, and just an incredible um, you know, outlet to, to be able to share this with other states and other prosecutors' offices.